Finally this evening, looking at ourselves from the outside. The former mayor of New York said today that politicians in the eye of the hurricane never have a realistic view of what is going on around them. It's true for all of us. Sometimes not being able to see the forest for the trees. And so by way of a favor to all of us, we get as far outside ourselves as possible tonight with help from NASA. Here's ABC's Ned Potter. To everything, there is a season. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap. And now, a satellite has watched it all. A year in the life of planet Earth. We're seeing things that we've never seen before, both on land and in the ocean. And it's just wondrous. For a year now, a biology satellite called SeaWIFS has been watching the ebb and flow of life as we move from fall to winter to spring to summer. I'm amazed at not only how beautiful this planet is, um, but how it responds, how it breathes, how it moves, how it changes. Sometimes it changes almost violently. Watch the Galapagos Islands last May as El Nino came to an end and the Pacific exploded with life, fed by the cooler waters of La Nina. All that in only two weeks. If you're on the planet, you have an idea it's a huge place. You get in a spacecraft and all of a sudden you realize you're on this little teeny planet. The satellite watches partly for the long term, so that years from now we can see how much the Earth's been disturbed by environmental problems, by cities getting larger, forests getting smaller. It may look peaceful from space, but it's not. Look at the fires this year in Mexico, then the people down here who endured them. Flooding along China's Yangtze River, and the millions who had to flee. Is the Earth doing well? Is it in trouble? The picture that best tells us, maybe from above. Ned Potter, ABC News, New York. That is our report on the World News Tonight. Don't forget Nightline later. Also join us again tomorrow. I'm Peter Jennings. Have a good evening and good night.